Hello friends, uh, this is Vijay, DevOps engineer. Today we will learn about how to install Jenkins on Windows, what are the requirements. We'll go through step by step process. Okay, what is the prerequisite and how to browse the Jenkins after installation. So it will be like a step by step guide. Uh, let's let's go through so for installation of Jenkins uh, the main requirement is Java uh, Java requirement is as you can see either you need a JDK JRE 11 or 17 that is the main requirement uh, I'll show you we'll, sh we'll do the practical installation okay so first open the CMD command line type version it is saying Java is not found so you can download the Java from Oracle website this is the website I'll give this link into the description you go here okay you can find the Java 11 for all Windows x64 installer I have downloaded this and I have kept it so this is the Jenkins which I have downloaded already from this location Jenkins you can go to this location download Jenkins this is long term support this is the uh, current development is going on in this so you can download this one download Jenkins you can click on the Jenkins and it will download the MSI file so I have downloaded both the uh, artifacts let's do the installation of Java first which is the requirement for the Jenkins So I have clicked on the JDK installation, JDK 11. Let's click on next. Okay, it will be installed in this location. Let's click next. It will install. It will take, I think, a couple of minutes to install this. Successfully installed. Close it. Up, again open the command prompt fire the Java version you can see the version is Java 11.0 as per the Jenkins documentation this is the required Java version for installation now let's start installing the Jenkins click on the MSI which I have downloaded it I click on run click on next so this comes as where do you want to install the Jenkins click on next if you want to run as an admin run as a local or domain user you can select this and give the account username and password otherwise you can run as a local system okay test port this is 8080 by default in Jenkins uh, this test port what it will do is it will check if any other service is running on 8080 or not if it is running then it will say connectivity failed accept some other port so I have selected 8080 only okay please select the Java version only 11 and 17 are supported so let's select the J JDK this is our JDK 11 17 you have to go till the path till the home directory of JDK Okay, click on next it will check whether JDK is present or not it click on next okay. click install to begin the installation click on install select yes now it is installing the Jenkins click the finish button to exit the setup wizard now the Jenkins has been installed Now the Jenkins has been installed. What you have to do is you have to go to the local host, go to the browser, type localhost 8080 and click enter. This page will come. Okay. <coughs> it is saying please wait while Jenkins is getting ready to work. Now 
now meanwhile when the jenkins is getting ready to work i will tell you about the jenkins uh, jenkins is used for many purpose mostly the ci cd continuous integration and continuous deployment you can use it for automation of testing you can whatever you do on the server manually everything can be automated through jenkins it has so many plugins available which is supported also so now you can see unlock jenkins to ensure the jenkins is securely set up a password has been written to the file and the file location is this okay open this let's go to this location open this so we have opened a password this is the password which jenkins has written into the file copy the password paste it here and continue that is the admin password now it is doing a setup install suggested plugins or select install select plugins to install so you can first you can select install suggested ones so these are the suggested ones folders timestamp or type pipeline and same kind of uh, jenkins installation i will show you into the linux also how to do that the process which is differ from linux and windows is the installation here we have installed the msi in linux you have to install the rpm once rpm is installed and you are able to browse it next the process is same from here onwards you can see this has become green so what what happens is when you install a plugin it will have many dependencies also so it will install all the dependencies then finally it will install these you can see list of all the dependencies folder is have was having the dependency on these three packages this markup formatter was having dependencies on these two build timeout was having dependency in credentials credentials binding is going on all the plugins has been installed once all the plugin will be installed you will get create first admin user okay i'll create devops vj i'll give vj some password confirm password full name vj goyal address devops yeah @gmail.com save and continue so the instance configuration if you want this to be browse on some other url you can mention it here okay other like dev like this instance is dev you mention here dev save and finish start using your jenkins now the jenkins is ready and our jenkins ui is up so this is the first ui page where i logged in with using vijay goel which i have given i have logged out from the admin now you can see everything here so this is all about the installation of jenkins i'll be talking uh, uh detail in jenkins that how to install plugins how to create a new job how to create a pipeline how to create a dynamic pipeline how to set up a agent how to connect using ssh how to uh, manage the jenkins how to build a cluster in a slave i'll talk about all about about all these topics in coming videos thank you if you have any questions please comment into the comment section I'll answer all the questions. Thank you.